And prisons, of course, uh, have been in the press a lot uh, today as well. We're talking again about prison reforms. But one of the things I find fascinating about the Timpson Group um, is p for people with criminal records, of which, by the way, there's about 11 million people in this country that have a criminal record. Often, uh, employers will look the other way and absolutely not consider uh, employing those people. But you yourselves, you have a completely different view, don't you? Not only uh, are you open-minded to um, employing people with a criminal record, ex-offenders. You proactively go into prisons. You have academies there. Um, you go out and you'll meet people uh, when they're coming out of their prison sentences to get them into your organisations, help them with housing. Tell us more. So it all started about 19 years ago because I was invited into a local prison near to where I live in Warrington. And there was a young guy showing me around, a young inmate, he was 19 years old, and I thought he was brilliant. His personality was fantastic. And in our business, we just recruit people on personality. So for us, CVs are a waste of time. We just want their name and phone number because we're looking for this thing called personality. And this young guy, Matthew, was showing me around. So I slipped in my business card and said, listen, you know, I'll, give you, I'll give you a second chance because he was really worried about getting a job. Took him on. He's still with us today. So I thought, well, let, let's see if we can help some more people. So then when I got up to about sort of 10 or 15 people, ex-offenders from, from prison I'd, I'd met and recruited, I told everyone in the business what we were doing. And I think because I managed to find people who were really good, my colleagues said, amazing, let's go and get some more. So that's when we sort of really started on the journey of opening up training academies in prisons as well, so we can give people the skills and the confidence so when they leave prison, they, they can just walk into a job with us. Because if, if you're a customer going into one of our shops, you don't really care what someone's background is. You want to be served by someone who's polite, who technically does a really good job, and is friendly and honest and kind. That's what you want. And it's amazing how we've managed to find all those people in prison, to the extent now that one in 10 of my colleagues are people who we first met in prison, people with lived experience of prison, as it's called nowadays. And you know, what started off as just trying to help people has become a really important part of our recruitment. Um, and Bizarrely, when we first started, um, I, I didn't really think about what the perception would be. You know, we're, we're a business that we, we cut keys and we, and we employ some burglars and some people who've done armed robbery and things like that, which you would think is the most ridiculous thing to do. But actually, I think our customers understand what we're trying to do and the fact that by giving people a second chance, we can help society too by reducing reoffending. So bizarrely, also what's happened now, because of COVID and the recruitment difficulties that loads of businesses face, including our own, that one of the problems in the past was the fact we didn't have enough people offering, offering jobs to people leaving prison. Now the reverse is true. Where, where we used to go into a prison and we were the only employer that had been there for weeks or months on end, now employers are queuing up at lots of prisons, trying to recruit people to, to work in um, hospitality, construction, distribution, HGV drivers, and so on. So I think the sentiment in the country is changing. But for us as a business, we've just managed to find loads of amazing people who have failed society. But often when you start digging, society has failed them too. But we've also learned how to do it. So you know, we don't recruit sex offenders. We don't recruit people who've got health chat, health problems that having a full-time job with us would actually be a disaster for them. And we don't recruit people who don't want to work. So I would say, out of the people leaving prison today, there's about 20% of those individuals we would be interested in interviewing who may want to come and work for us or other people. But I think one of the other things to remember is that in all businesses of scale, we're all employing people who've been to prison. But most companies don't know it because people have lined their application form. For us, we want people to be honest and we judge them by their personality, not on what they've done. And uh, it's actually meant that we've had amazingly talented people, very, very bright, dedicated, passionate people who've joined us, um, who we've never have met before if we if we turned them down because of, because of a criminal record. And it's actually got to the stage now where quite a lot of our senior colleagues are people who joined us from prison I mean, five, 10 years ago and have risen through the ranks and are doing really, really well. So it's a combination of commercially, although this was never the intention, it's become a really positive thing for us to do because we're recruiting talented people from prison. But also it's, it's a great thing to do to help people turn their lives around too.